up, is it? If you're serious about working with the best friend, how about giving us some insider info? Yeah, it's dirty laundry, you know. But... Yeah. I have heard whispers about the new president's proclivities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. No. Why did I even have Region that we still cannot scan, despite being within range of a tower. If anyone is capable of evading detection by Republic Tech, it must be Shinra. Yes. Furthermore, as we have yet to detect a proto relic, I suspect these issues may be related in some manner. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on your map. And remember, when surveying, safety first.
that, okay?
Shadow Cloud that forest chocobos use mushrooms as springboards? Mushrooms. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here, here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Who are you people? I. You'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> Come on. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. Don't get a lot of visitors, what with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. Ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance, which Shinra never provided. And then one day. So, they're cheap as well. Huh. This was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! <laughs> I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. Seriously, get some rest, okay? Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. 
We got more than our fair share. Didn't settle down here until after the reactor incident. Place may not seem like much compared to Midgar, but it's more than enough for me. Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? We got more than our fair share. That Cisney lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they went the other way. Willful negligence killed those people. And everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Right ones. Correct. I suppose this scent does make it rather obvious. The soil here is exceptionally easy on the paws, as if it exudes life itself. Dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? Soup's good. Can't mess it up. Hey, making a great soup takes hard work, I'll have you know. Imagine eating Gungaga mushrooms every day. Now that's luxury for you. May I be of service to you? Please, browse at your leisure. 
I'll be right here if you need. See ya. If you need something, better way to where to find us. Oscar. Ah, you there. Don't ask how I can tell, but you're into Queen's blood, aren't you? Isn't that great, Oscar? I've found someone you can play against. <coughs> Let me introduce you. This is Oscar the Swift. He's a watch chocobo. A huge Queen's blood fan, too. He gets cranky if he can't play at least one game a day. So, how about it? Mind going around with him? I'm sure you're busy. Yeah. You ever heard of that blacksmith named Izo? Maybe you know where the weed killer is? We don't stop at your normal sundries. We sell materia, too. Maybe Can I interest you in some lunch? Maybe I should splurge for you.
Nothing need be a waste of both my time and yours. I'll have you know, though, I've never lost a competition. This must be one of good. Hey there, good to see you again. Since you're here, mind if I snap a pic of a fun guy with some fun guy? This restaurant hired me to grab a couple of shots for them to use in their menu. I'm supposed to shoot the freshest Gangaga mushrooms I can find. Gonna get pics of the scenery while I'm here. Make the most of the opportunity and all that. Let me know if you find anything picturesque. Encore, if that's cool. An encore? Normally I charge an orb per song, but I'll make a special exception this time. Here goes. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, betcha I'll go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck, you're wasting time. But just wait, oh materia, I'll get back on the road and make you mine. Settle down. I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. Mushrooms. What? Because it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe that mumbo jumbo. Still, you might be onto something. Gagaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to print gift. <laughs> Shinra's doing its damnedest to bleed the planet dry, but she still got life in her, and we gotta help her keep what's left.
yours? Come in. Please. Hmm? Your eyes. You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach? Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zack. Zack Fair. Zack? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him, and to please get in touch? Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> Here. Sorry. Every time someone says they're from Midgar, we can't help but hope that person knows our son. A couple of bumpkins like us often forget it's a big city. All this talk of another war has me worried. But I know I'm not the only mother afraid for her son. telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did. But thanks. So, the Zack guy, you still like him? Wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. <sighs> Any news? Nothing. No calls, no letters. Home. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? 
He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is. Another time. Treating your chocobos right? Take good care of your choco buddies. If you want to visit the reactor, you'll have to get Sisney's permission first. to the Shinra Resort's ball. Damn it! The rural getaway! After all that time... Grace is it the design? The, <sighs> the hell with it. Back to square one. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to... <sighs> that arm! That magnificent arm! Uh. It is a weapon! But how does it work? A universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally. 
doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. And eventually, I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The crafting is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. Though it seems whoever made it no mere weapon... Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon, I lack the vocabulary to describe. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful, thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble.
Should be somewhere around here. more to find. Oh, 
Did you find everything? Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. <laughs> <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. Yes, yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! My gift to you, I insist! I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> Use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. <laughs> Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow? Years from now? Think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. <laughs>